My name is Lalitha. And I'm Nikki. And today we're making crispy kale chips. Perfect. So what we have here today, we have two different varieties of kale. We have a green kale and we also have a purple kale. So what we're doing, we're just ripping apart the leaves off of the stem and we're putting them in this bowl right here. And kale, a lot of people don't know about kale and when they see it in the grocery store, they're not exactly sure how to use it. Kale is very versatile. You can add it into soups. Mm -hmm. You can make a salad with it. You can also add it into stews. And what we're doing today, we're being creative. We're making chips. And I must say, I have a toddler at home and she loves the texture of chips. So this is a great way to introduce this vegetable to your kids at home. It's also great because it's a low sodium snack. So cutting out things like processed chips and crackers that contain lots of salt. Great replacement for them. Absolutely, and not only that, it's great for individuals who have high blood pressure because really we want to emphasize on lowering the amount of salt in your diet when you do have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So this is a great alternative for snacking when you're watching TV, sitting on the couch, need something to munch on, why not munch on kale chips? So I think we have enough in our bowl here. And what we've done, we've just layered a pan sheet with some parchment paper, which we're gonna put the kale on. And I've measured out about two tablespoons of canola oil in this dish right here. You could also use olive oil and extra virgin olive oil as well. We encourage everybody to use a variety of oils in their diet because they're going to get more exposure to different types of fatty acids. So canola has a combination of omega-3 and omega-6, which are essential fatty acids, which are great for heart health. Olive oil has omega-9, which is also great for heart health too. So we have our olive oil, and what I'm gonna do, just to add a little bit more spice to our kale chips, I'm gonna add some lemon rind. So lemon rind is great because it has some of those oils inside of it, which make it a little bit more flavorful and pungent. So you don't need lots. So I'm just gonna mix that into the olive oil so that it adheres to the kale chips. So I'll give that a little bit of a whirl. Excellent. And then we'll just start putting the kale onto the parchment paper. It looks like a lot, but it shrinks up when you're cooking it. I'm just going to add my canola oil on top. And then just to make sure that all the leaves are coated, I'm just going to scrunch them together. That'll help them crisp up and give them that good crunch. We preheated the oven to 350, and we're going to cook them for about 8 to 10 minutes. So we're going to pop these into the oven now. and. Like Nikki mentioned, about eight to 10 minutes. You wanna watch because they might start browning at around eight. If they get too brown, they're gonna to start to burn. So you wanna take them out before they probably get brown, mm -hmm. around greenish yeah. still, okay? Oh look, here's the kale. Perfect, and they have two varieties as well. The purple and the green. Great. Yeah, and kale is the powerhouse of vegetables. It is so full of nutrients, fiber, and it's one of the highest antioxidant vegetables you can get. I think a lot of people, they're afraid when they see this because they're, they're not sure how to prepare it. You can tear off the leaves, you can add it to soups, you can roast it, make kale chips, where we're gonna do this mm -hmm. afternoon. Um, you could add it to stew, so it's a fantastic, versatile leafy lettuce. Yes, it is. <laughs> Our kale chips are done. Excellent. They look great. They're still a bright green and purple color. And you just want to let them rest for a while so that they can crisp up. They, they still might be a little bit soft once you take them out of the oven. When we're choosing our vegetables, we want our vegetables to be really rich and vibrant in color. And I think that holds true for this plate. We have purple, we have green. It looks awesome. Looks and I great. think it looks ready to eat. Oh, Should yeah. we try some? Of course. Hmm. Mm. 